Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obadah Potato. This is Age of Civilizations 2. We are embroiled in three conflicts currently. Um, we are going to war with Poland, um, and we're about to sacrifice 980, 930 troops to Poland uh, over there. That's somewhat disappointing. Also, is there any chance that I can perhaps get Germany to come on side? Send ultimatum, offer an alliance. Likelihood of success, low. I mean, what does Germany think of Poland? Not much, truthfully. Hmm. It's a bummer. Okay, we need to try and get our wars squared away so that we can ally with Germany. I've decided that Germany and Italy are going to be my allies. We're going to, I'm going to like join the Axis. It's going to be like, uh, like World War II all over again. Um, in all seriousness, we're actually not doing too badly. However, we are about to sacrifice 930 troops. Yeah. Yeah, that was just not really great. Oh, please, please throw your troops into the colossal Dutch army. That's great news. Okay, seven troops are invading. Fine. Now, he's got that massive reserve, really. So, he can reinforce any time. I'm going to move my massive army down. Process of assimilation has come to an end. Great. I think that was all of the um, Danish provinces. Oh, it was every province, actually. Well, there you go. That's great. Province plundered, Copenhagen. Well, that's really a bummer. We're at war with Spain now as well. Okay, fine. Um, Spain, we need to call... We need to call the Netherlands in, in, to, in to come fight for us. I didn't think that as many people would declare war on me. I don't think they're declare war, declaring war on me because I've declared war on other people. I think they're just declaring war on me because they can declare war on me, I guess. Uh, recruit. I'm going to recruit a thousand troops here. Yep. And then I'm also going to recruit the remainder over here. Um, we need to fight... Well, now we need to fight in four wars, whereas before we only needed to fight in three. Which is somewhat of a bummer, I guess. Okay, he's going to invade directly. He's going to throw his 409 troops into mine. That is phenomenal news. I'm really, really happy with that. He's also going to throw 2,000 troops into mine. And he's going to throw 233 troops into mine. Man, that could not have gone any smoother if it had been planned. Um, can we clean out Somalia right now? I don't know. He might have some troops over there. Netherlands joined the war against Spain. Great, great, great stuff. Okay, this is kind of good, actually. It means that we can now uh, take troops to the Spanish Peninsula, and we can actually just use them all in the same conflict. Um, you know, small positives, I guess, right? We need to raise a whole bunch of troops right here, otherwise we're going to get invaded from uh, by Poland. He's going he's gonna to move up. He's got a lot of troops there. He's got a lot, a lot of troops there. Um... Truthfully, I think we probably cut our losses in this province. There is not a recruitable population to support. Yeah, the recruitable population of 274. Quite honestly, that's not good enough. We're going to just need to recruit as many as we possibly can in e Esjberg. Yeah, that's the proper pronunciation I will have you know. Um, let's move forward. Uh, in fact, let's not move forward. I feel that we're just going to overextend ourselves if we if we go for that. I'm going to plunder all of Poland, by the way. I hope, like, he plundered Copenhagen, and Copenhagen is, you know, I care about Copenhagen. Um, either way, let's go to the next turn. I think we should have enough people to to win. Beautiful. We've finally regained control of the, um, of the British Isles once again. He's going to invade up there. That's pretty much exactly as we expected. He's got 6,000 troops. That is a bummer. That is a real, real bummer. Uh, we cannot even match that in terms of what we can recruit this turn. Um, yikes. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Well, he clearly, he moved all of his, he moved all of his Baltic fleet onto land. He moved all of his Baltic fleet onto the land. That's fine. Can we... Call in an ally. Let's call in an ally. We're at war with Norway now as well. You're kidding me. Just as I thought I had it. Oh, blimey heck. Okay, fine. So Norway's going to do something. Norway's also got some islands up here. Oh, no, that's the Faroe Islands. They count as a completely different entity. 
They might attack some of the Scottish islands up at the top. Not super happy with that, but it is what it is. Good thing that we're at war with Norway now. Thanks. Thanks for that. This is really turning into like a World War Three type scenario. Um, what do we want to do? I mean, he's still got one... He's one turn away from moving troops up there. The recruitable population here is 4,000. So let's recruit as many as we can this turn. Let's move all of our troops back. And let's consolidate them all in one singular location. At least in Norway. 7,000 Dutch troops. They are coming to my aid. That's great stuff. Um, let's recruit a whole bunch more right here. I think that that is going to be enough to defeat Poland, at least in that one engagement right there. Thankfully, the Dutch are finally coming to their rescue. Am I at war with Germany? No, those German troops are just attacking attacking France. Uh, in Dunkirk, of all places. I think that that is probably the height of irony. Um, it's probably not the height of irony. It's probably not even that ironic. Anyway, I'm going to try and invade Portugal, I guess. No. Yeah. <sighs> Portugal is probably the best the best shot that we've got. What I think we should probably do, let's consolidate all of our troops down in London. It's going to take us a long time to do that anyway. Let's consolidate all of our troops down in London. Let's consolidate all the troops down in London, at least the ones that are in the UK at the moment. Um, I'm going to sort of leave these two guys... I'll leave these two guys just chilling in the UK because I don't want another person to invade. Maybe I'll bump that force to a thousand. Might recruit a couple of extra units next turn. It's something to think about for sure. Province plundered. Ugh, bloody Polish. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? I don't understand why they've decided to go to war. That's fine. It's fine. We're. I trust that the AI of the Netherlands is going to be good enough to, to help me out. Um. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go to the next turn. Two troops are going to invade. They're going to get it. Wow. Shock horror. That's fine. They threw 4,000 troops at me. That's a pretty big defeat, actually, for them. And now we can comfortably wipe them out. 13,000 Polish troops. Okay, well, at least the Netherlands are going to suffer significant losses. I mean, I say at least. I don't really want them to suffer significant losses. But if ever anyone is going to suffer significant losses, I would rather it not be me. So there we go. Let's queue up um, pretty much everyone to be recruited again. Uh, it looks like... It looks like he's moving more troops towards the port, which I'm hopeful will be um, will be sign, a sign that he's going to move move out. Uh, okay. That seems kind of nonsense, but that is what it is, I guess. Um, sure, I'll move 500 troops right over there, and then I want to recruit pretty much everyone in the in the in the province once again province plundered oh, blimenek i worked so hard to get that stability up how do i get these units how do i get these units selected i don't think i can i mean i can ra i can't even raise troops there how do I select them when they're in transit? Do I need to select their their province of origin? I don't think so. I guess I just can't move them once they've been... Um... Oh no, hold on. Tell a lie. Alright, get you guys moving in there. Yeah, you guys can finish your trip here and then we'll just go and take out the Norwegians right there. Perfect. Okay, good. I think that'll work anyway. Okay. Finally, we took over that um, that Polish force. Good. Glad that we had enough troops to defend there. We need to raise 5,000 troops here, by the way. Um, there is a Dutch fleet incoming. I don't know where they're going to go. Man, I am super grateful for the Dutch. Um, yeah, these guys are going to invade. We know they're going to invade. We know they're going to invade right there. That kind of sucks because... Wait, whoa, 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 what? What, whoa, 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 Uh, okay. This is kind of annoying. Uh, I guess I can't stop them once they're moving. Um, and now there is a Portuguese fleet inbound of 11,000 units. 
all I can say to that is, is a strong yikes. Where do we need our troops most? That's the real question. Also, I think we need to seriously cut back on the amount of stuff that we're investing in. Um, we need to raise as much money as physically possible right now. This is going to be a very serious conflict, given the fact that we are at war with one, two, three, four people simultaneously. And um, it's not looking good. We've got the Netherlands on our side, but no one seems to be attacking the Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands are at war with Portugal. Netherlands aren't at war with Somalia. Where, what about Spain? Is Spain still at war with us? Yeah, Spain is at war with us. Where's, where's that? Uh, also, let's call in, call in our ally. At least the Netherlands hates everyone as much as we do. That is a small consolation, I guess. Oh, yeah, we, we need to scroll down on the list now, because apparently we can't, uh, we can't see them all on the same list. So am I involved in, like, literally all of the, 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 the global conquests? Is that what it is? Right, let's recruit 1,500 people in air. Let's recruit more people in Edinburgh. Oh my goodness. That was great. Okay, that is literally the best. That is the best solution that we could have that we could have had. Um, cool. Head over to Sunderland. Recapture Sunderland. Ah, great, 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 great stuff. I'm super happy that Portugal has decided to do that. Um, is Poland at war with Germany? Is Poland actually at war with Germany? I mean, or is he just military accessing him? No, nope, Germany is just at war with France. So that's fine, I guess, then. Um, let's raise some troops in... Let's raise some troops in uh, Denmark. And let's move out. Let's go on the offensive for what feels like the first time in forever. Um, not going to go on the offensive with those troops quite yet because I know that we could still potentially lose. I don't know what army is there, but, you know, I'd rather not risk it. Doesn't look like there's anything in Odense, which is nice. Um, cool. Let's move out. Reconquer our territory. Reconquer Sunderland. Great stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's great. I guess because Germany is friendly with us, we can see their movements, their troop movements. Um, and in terms of troop movements, actually, things are, things are pretty good. Um, I'm going to see, actually, just after we go to the next turn, of course, I'm going to see if we can build a... If we can build... I mean, do we have a military camp, a supply camp in London? It would probably be a good thing to do. Reduces the cost of, of recruitment of unit by one gold per unit. Well, that's quite nice. Uh, however, what I was really going to see, can we build a watchtower in Newquay? And will it allow us to scan the shores? Or should I say scan the seas? Because I hope that we can. Low stability. Yeah, I know. Everywhere was plundered by bloody, bloody invaders. Um, I wish I could see what's going on over here. Unfortunately, we can't. I think we need to recruit more units. It's not many, but it's something. We'll do that. Dutch troops are moving around. Fine. Um, I want to recruit more troops in London, but unfortunately, I just I, I actually cannot recruit more troops in London. We just do not have the the, the sort of potential to do that. We've we've pretty much uh, pretty much sucked up all of the potential troops from London. Um, so now we really just need to to decide where do we want to go to war. Where do we want to go to war? Where do we want to start conquering? I'd suggest maybe Portugal. Portugal would be a good place to, to start off with. Watchtower is built. We'll see if that makes a difference. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, you know what? Maybe. I'm going to see if we can get military access with Germany. If we can get military access with Germany. They do love me. Which is quite nice. Let's start moving in. Maybe a little bit of a bold move. But I want to retake this land before he plunders it yet again. Uh, it looks like our proposal was accepted, which is great news, actually. Where did the Polish fleet go? Well, either way, we can actually now... Ah, he's going to invade there. That's a bit of a bummer. 
Uh, let's move you guys right back. That's the answer, by the way, to where the Polish fleet went. And let's move you guys just into Copenhagen. Hopefully, he won't have too many troops in Copenhagen then. Uh, also, the Dutch might get there first, and the Dutch might weaken his force. There's always, there's always a chance. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Does not look like that's going to be the case at all. Poland is victorious. Uh, okay. That's a slight setback. That is a very, very slight setback. We're going to recruit... 900 troops there. We'll recruit... In fact, you know what? Let's recruit 3,600 here because... What we can do, rather than mucking around with the, the Baltic Sea Transportation... Although, do we want to muck around with the Baltic Sea Transportation? We actually have quite a quite a big force here. I'm going to invade Poland. Poland is going to be my main focus, at least for a little while. Um, still nothing um, in terms of invasions from um, Portugal and or Spain. Uh, but let's move everyone to London, because of course we're going to send out an expeditionary force to, I think, probably Portugal at this rate. Okay, we will easily defeat any Polish armies over there. He's going to throw some troops into me, and twice he's going to throw some troops into me. That makes me feel immensely better about myself. Uh, where did all my troops go? In the sea? What? How did I lose them all? I thought Poland only had like a tiny number of troops. Where did they all go? Did I just completely miss something? Very, very strange. Either way, we're victorious. I don't win that battle in, in Poland. That's that's a big bummer. I guess he just brought some more troops down. Blumenek, he's got a lot of them, doesn't he? He's moving them over there. That's fine. Yeah, let's move these guys out into the sea. I don't think we're going to encounter the Polish fleet along the way. 7,000 troops in London that are pretty much ready to go, I would say. Recruit. Recruit 10,000 troops. Let's recruit 10,000 troops from Ipswich. And uh, and these 10,000 troops we will use to invade Portugal. It's a, it's a big amount of troops, but I don't suspect that we're going to get very far. Especially if... Um, Maybe we should maybe we should focus on getting one battle out of the way first. Hmm. He's invading over there. So maybe we start building up an army over here. It's not many. Maybe we should focus on trying to get um Yeah, we'll move you you guys over there. Move you guys over here. Sure. Oh my goodness. He just, we just can't do it. He's just got so many troops. This is just a, you know, this is just a, a barrier that we're just continuing to throw manpower into. Um, is Poland actually holding provinces in the Netherlands? I don't really want to help Poland out. I don't really want to help the Netherlands out if that is the case, because... That might be a good opportunity to attack, to attack Poland. We'll see, we'll see what sort of resistance that we face over here. 5,000 troops! Okay, well, we managed to get in. Whether we're, man we're managed to get anywhere else, I don't know about that. 600 troops. 600 troops. Let's sort of explore a little bit, see if there's... Oh my god. Wowzers. Okay, I don't even think that we can, we can beat Poland. I just genuinely do not think that we can beat Poland. 67,000 casualties. That is... Honestly... Insane. Can't even... I can't even offer war reparations. Can we just, like, white peace? He's just got such a large number of troops. I mean, I've got, I, I like, I'm just losing manpower, like, like a sieve. It's like I'm going with, you know, that was a 7,000, 7,000 troop army. Let's 
We'll see if we can piece out Spain. Spain's not actually attacked us, I, I don't believe. Unless the Netherlands have done some, some nonsense with them. But I don't think so. I just, I just don't know. I just do not know. Truce with Poland. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, lordy. Lordy, I'm glad about that. Um, Spain did not accept that um, that truce, but that's fine. That's fine. We can actually focus our efforts. Um, it cost us a lot, really. Or did it cost us a lot? In terms of stability, stability has decreased, yeah, pretty much everywhere, actually. Everywhere that was invaded and taken over. Um, let's move them back to London for now, just in case there's another invasion. Man, that is a super big bummer. I am super disappointed that we weren't able to, uh, that we weren't able to deal with Poland. I mean, Somalia, do you want to, like, can I just, like, peace you out? I mean, like, in order to go to war with Somalia, like, dear goodness me. Like, that is, it's miles away. How, like, it must take you about 15 years to get your troops up. Can we even go through the Suez Canal? I don't even know if that counts. Should we just like send a massive force to Somalia and see if it then see if we can we can manage to to win? Can we just peace out Spain? If we could peace out Spain, I would be very very happy. But I don't think Spain is going to accept my um my peace offerings. Nope, doesn't look like they're going to do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Look, we got 100,000. We got 100,000 bucks in the bank. Norway is going to now invade. Oh, great. Just what I needed. At least we got the Dutch fleet sailing around, which can, you know, slightly absorb some of the some of the troops that uh, that Norway are throwing at us. So that's kind of nice. But we're going to have to deal with them in the next episode. Ladies and gents, oh my goodness, there's also more Somalian troops coming along. Um, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Age of Civilizations 2. I'll see you next time. Bye.